Hello and welcome to Give and Take the Virtues in Life and today's topic is Purple, Lotus, Zen and we have a wonderful guest who will introduce herself and tell us all about her so welcome. Uh, thanks for having me Cicely, mm -hmm. um, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is Michelle B. Whitney mm -hmm. and uh, I am a spiritual healer, spiritual guider and wellness advocate. Um, my business is Purple Lotus Zen. Mm -hmm. I operate it in my home in Yonkers, New York. Mm -hmm. Great. So tell us how you got started into this wonderful Purpose Lotus Zen <laughs> uh, business. What inspired you? Why did you do this? Uh, so um, spirituality has always been a part of my life mm -hmm. since I was very young. Oh, good. Um, and for a long time I was searching for a religion. Mm. Um, it wasn't until I was an adult that I realized that I was searching for something that I could not find. Mm -hmm. It was within. Mm -hmm. And so, um, mm, yeah, yeah then, exactly. Mm -hmm. so, um, so then I started tapping into what does spirituality mean to me? And, um, and that's what actually inspires me. And it inspired me to help others mm -hmm. Uh, to um, bring healing to others. In uh, my early 20s, I uh, studied social work. Okay. So I always wanted to be a social worker. So that always um, counseling, mm -hmm. guiding people, listening, uh, very good at listening okay. uh, to others. Yeah. And, I, I felt uh, <laughs> that as we were talking, you were listening very yes. attentively and that's wonderful. It is, it's, mm -hmm. an, it's an important thing. You know, not, not everyone has that mm -mm. and can do that. And so, um, but I saw that that was a, an ability and a strength of mine. Mm -hmm. And so um, I did not work as a social worker. Okay. <laughs> I spent many years uh, as a bookkeeper, mm. um, as also as an assistant mm -hmm. uh, in the corporate world. Okay. And uh, a couple of years ago, well, actually three years ago, I decided to, um, to, pra to really brought out and just give back mm -hmm. uh, to friends and family. Right. And I started... Uh, doing tarot readings. Oh, okay. Yeah, tarot card readings. Mm -hmm. Let's pause there for a second. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the tarot readings and how you do that. Okay, so um, tarot is very interesting. Uh, it's been around for many centuries. Um, and it started, I believe, in England. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I work with energy. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it's something that I also learned when I started my spiritual journey. Okay. And uh, I realized that I'm very sensitive mm -hmm. to energy. Mm -hmm. uh, in the light workers world, um, I'm called the empath. Right. So when I do the cards, you can lay them out. Um, they have drawings, mm -hmm. so there's depictions on each card. And there are messages, you know, that are for each card. Mm -hmm. But as you you know you um, you continue to do the practice and do right. the work, um, I start feeling energy mm. from the person okay. and from the cards, mm -hmm. and so each message varies. It's not the same message, even though it may be the same card. Uh, right. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So um, and also the way you lay them out mm -hmm. um, can also be you know the. The most common is past, present, and future. Right. Um, but it doesn't always have to be. It could also be um, career, health, um, home, mm -hmm. uh, love. Um, but uh, working with energy and doing it for so long, um, my ability has increased. Mm. So um, I'm connecting to source more. Good. And so, um, and also in my practice privately with my meditation, uh, daily meditation, also you connect. Um, it allows that doorway right. to open, mm -hmm. you know, so, um, you know, I'm constantly turning to source, mm -hmm. you know, what messages do you, what do you want me to tell this person? Good. Um, and so I, I try my hardest for when the messages are conveyed mm -hmm. that they're as accurate as possible right. and clear and also with respect to the person. Mm -hmm. So um, some messages can be straightforward, right. um, but I I honestly believe that it's because their um, their spirit guides mm -hmm. want them need for them to hear it that way. Right. So whether it's you know you need to pay attention to health right now, mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know maybe uh, 
make a decision. You know, stop procrastinating. Right. So that's about as harsh as it gets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I also do Reiki. Okay. So I'm a Reiki practitioner, mm -hmm. a level two, mm -hmm. and um, and with that, with Reiki, there's energy healing. Right. And so that goes hand in hand, mm -hmm. and I use it um, together mm. a lot. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, how do you, did, were you in any religion or anything like that? So growing up, uh, my mother was a uh, Catholic. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know what, she's very, very religious, my mother. Mm -hmm. And so uh, my first experience, my father was Protestant, okay. but my mother uh, took on the role as um, being the one who you know, taught the children religion. Mm -hmm. So we went to her church. Mm. Um, and <laughs> growing up, uh, I was probably about eight years old when I had my first encounter with spirit. Okay. And um, my mother being Catholic, it was only natural that the image that I saw was of Jesus Christ. Mm. And so I went to my mother and told her, you know, um, I had been playing in my room and uh, Jesus appeared mm. in my um, bedroom mirror. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's, you know, she's very, I'm also Hispanic. Okay. Uh, Puerto Rican Hedrich. Okay. And uh, she was just, you know, very superstitious also. So with the religion and superstition, mm. uh, she just detests the whole thing right. and just said, you know, don't, don't ever, you know, turn away from that. That's mm. demonic. Mm. Uh, you know, you didn't see what you thought you saw. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so it was very confusing. And right. so a lot of it, you know, I had to um, push a lot of what I saw and what I felt aside. Right. Um, and then as a teenager, I started questioning mm -hmm. um, religion as an institution. You know, just mm, that. Right. You know, what are the the rules? You know, and um, and I didn't really care really for mean, them. Right? What does it really mean? Mm -hmm. So um, I enjoyed the stories, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't really care for the rules. Right. And so um, my mother was very supportive. I was. Good. Um, yeah, she was very supportive. Mm -hmm. um, everything. I was looking for a religion um, in my early teenage years, mm -hmm. about 14, and um, and she would accompany me uh, different churches, as right. long as they were still Christian-based. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't opposed as long as it was <laughs> Christian-based. <laughs> uh, and she's actually the first one who gifted me. Mm -hmm. um, about maybe 15 years ago, my first tarot deck, oh. which was very unusual. Right. Uh, at the same time, she's also the same one who made me throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a woman in my 40s and right. my mother, you know, <laughs> in my 30s mm -hmm. told me to disregard, you know, to, to get rid of them. And I did. I mm -hmm. out of respect and honor for her. Mm -hmm. um, and so she, again, thought that it was um, taboo and just not sure. really good energy. Mm -hmm. And so I did toss them. And um, about maybe three or four years ago, um, I... I was gifted again, not See, by her. It's coming back. <laughs> you can't get away from it. <laughs> no, not by her, but by right. a coworker, uh -huh. uh, a doc. And so um, I finally said, you know, I'm mm. 40 years old, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm 44 now, and I, you know, I, this is what I enjoy. This mm -hmm. is what I believe. I, right. I, I have a respect for all religions. Um, my faith is. It, you know, it, it's what inspires me Good. to do what I do. Mm -hmm. um, and I know I'm not doing anything um, no. bad. Right, so, uh, don't do any to hurt yourself or to hurt anyone Or else. anyone else. You're just following your intuition. Exactly. And that's important. Yes, and mm -hmm. so, um, so I work on it daily, and I did. Mm -hmm. You know, once, uh, and I had the support not from my mother, she is very religious, and mm -hmm. I love her and I respect her, um, but as an adult, I feel that this is my purpose, this is my mission, mm -hmm. and um, I don't want to leave this lifetime Good. not doing uh, the service that Beautiful. I feel that I'm called to do. Beautifully said, very mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. At this time, we're gonna take a look at um, the images. Okay, so card reading and Reiki, Michelle B. Whitney, Mama Ursula. Yes. What is that Mama Ursula? That's my alias name. Okay, <laughs> your alter ego. Huh? Yes. <laughs> I said that to some children the other day. I said, 
it was Halloween, and I was like, what's your alter ego? I said, what's that? Yes. I said, well, what you're playing with your, uh, you know, poker. I don't know. It's what it happens, yeah. <laughs> That's, you. That's your alter role. ego. Yes. So I was explaining to them what alter ego was. So tell us about um, Purpose Lotus Zen. We saw this uh, flyer, and mm -hmm. uh, tell us about the services and... Uh, in fact, let's talk about how they can reach you so we don't forget that. How are they oh, able okay. to reach you? Mm. So I, um, I'm mostly on Facebook mm -hmm. and Instagram. Okay. Um, Facebook, it, you know, it, it's so wonderful. Facebook allows you to do long videos. You can right. post videos. Um, you can post events, which mm -hmm. I do. Um, and it's all under my business name, mm -hmm. uh, Purple Lotus Zen. Right. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, mm -hmm. and also YouTube. Good. Um, you can also reach me by email, mm -hmm. uh, and that's purplelotuszen at yahoo.com. Okay. Um, my cell, which is personal and for business, 914-513-8398. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, you can call or text um, and leave a message. Okay. So I operate during the business, um, business normal business hours. Mm -hmm. So uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, right. uh, 9 to 3. Mm -hmm. Wednesdays, 9 to 6. Okay. Uh, and Saturdays, 9 to uh, 1. Okay. And um, I offer services in my home uh, by appointment only. Mm -hmm. I also do remotely, uh, so I will travel mm -hmm. um, to someone for an event sure. um, or for workshops, and Good. I'll go through that list. Mm -hmm. uh, also, um, virtually, so I can do it via email. Um, I've emailed readings. Oh. Uh, yes, and mm -hmm. a lot of people are kind of skeptical about like right. what are you know email readings, but um, it's actually, I find it, much more better than mm -hmm. me actually just speaking yeah, the exactly. reading because yeah, you get yeah. to read it. Mm -hmm. And then if uh, you miss something, you can go back to it. Yeah. And then if you have See, any questions, like. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's what I like too. Mm -hmm. And um, and then if you have any questions, you need clarification, right. it's easier mm -hmm. uh, for me to then go into the file and pull out your reading mm. and clarify anything that needs clarification. Right. So, um, and that's included. Mm -hmm. uh, the messages that are conveyed, and um, again, um, given my, you know, my, my what I've learned uh, from social work and psychology, mm -hmm. um, also just life experience. Right. Um, so the messages are always conveyed from a place mm -hmm. of love. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are also, they may be messages of also affirmations right. of things. Maybe um, there are times that I, I get messages mm -hmm. uh, from source mm -hmm. uh, for people. Maybe they have to tap into spirituality or maybe they have to get away from right. uh, the current one um, that they're in. So, But each message is always from a place of love mm -hmm. and, um, and guidance. So that's where I put the spiritual guidance. Right. So it's from source. Mm -hmm. um, I am very big on wellness and wellness not just uh, on what we eat, Mm -hmm. but just total wellness. Right. So um, your mind, your, your body, uh, your spirit. Um, so making sure that you're eating properly, you're getting adequate sleep, mm -hmm. um, also that you're out in nature. Um, and uh, you're not, sh you know, there's a time that we need to um, go within right. and distance ourselves. And like we were talking about earlier, you know, disconnect from social media. Mm -hmm. And there's certainly yeah. those messages that do come through. Mm -hmm. um, and I do convey those messages. Mm -hmm. I don't hold back. Right. Um, and so, and, and that has to do with the wellness advocate, mm -hmm. you know, so that's that concept. Right. Um, yeah, it's good to sort of, uh, like you were saying, I said to you, because, um, you know, in my practice of Raj Yoga meditation, many people know I do this already. And, um, what happened was um, one of the senior brothers in India did a class and he encouraged us to do a seven day um, practice. And I said, I'm gonna do this. And I had a wonderful experience with it. And I decided, it was not suggested, but I decided I was just gonna distance myself from social media. Exactly. And just go in as I needed to. And, and I'm gonna continue that, just post as I need to, but not put my attention and energy in that area. And I, I'm enjoying it because mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a form of silence. Exactly. And so uh, in regards to silence of the mind and all this clutter of all that stuff that's going on, and also silence even with speaking um, 
to people or messaging or I'm doing that and I'm enjoying it because I feel better. Yes. I feel lighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my mind is clearer. Exactly. And because my body was going through some things and my body is relaxed, I feel good. So um, I'm glad that I did that because these things, you know, we get all these different um, methods. Mess, yeah. And um, I decided that I wanted to just follow this seven day program. It was a bit, and I'm going to continue it Absolutely. as it comes in. Um, you know, like you said, through source or whatever, do this or just practice it. Exactly. When it comes to me, what I need to do. Exactly. And uh, so, yes, yeah. so I just wanted to share, you know, we're wearing our wonderful red. <laughs> yes. It's, you know, I heard someone say the other day, um, oh, this is so stressful. I said, it's the most <laughs> wonderful time of the year. Yes, it is. It <laughs> absolutely is. And they said, you know what? I'm going to stay with that thought. <laughs> it's a season it's a, of miracles yes, of hope. Yes, my goodness. So I just, <laughs> it just came into me, and then she just held on to that when I said that. It made her day. I'm holding on to that. Well, yeah, and it doesn't say it's the most stressful time of the year. It doesn't say that. No, it does. <laughs> I just had to get that in there. Exactly. But yes, uh, Michelle. So what made you come up with the name of Purple Lotus Satin? Okay, so um, so purple, the color purple, as we know, mm -hmm. is very like spiritual. Color. Yes. So mm -hmm. it actually isn't my favorite color. Okay. Um, it's one. It's, it's a beautiful color. Mm -hmm. um, but... Uh, it's really connected mm -hmm. to spirituality. Right. And so um, so the purple there, the lotus flower, um, you know, lotus flower actually comes in different colors. Mm -hmm. um, and so, but the lotus flower um, was the closest that can relate to my life. Mm. And so, um, as we know, the lotus flower comes is, is, comes from mud, mm -hmm. right? right? So murky water, mm -hmm. and um, and it makes its way through this water to sit on top, uh, exactly. <laughs> and then you know, it, it shows its beautiful right. radiant, you know, colors mm -hmm. in the sun. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought that was just beautiful, and it mm. sits there, yes. you know, and it's it doesn't like go, it doesn't go into the mud, it doesn't no, go down there, it just stays above all. Right it. above it, mm -hmm. and um, you know, so it's overcome mm -hmm. all of of what's you know behind. Right. So I love that. So that's why I chose the lotus flower. Right. Uh, so purple lotus, and then Zen is. I think we all um, we all strive to have that peace and that balance, mm -hmm. and um, and and I had to include that. Good. Um, Zen, mm -hmm. definitely. Zen, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was called a lot of things that I do. Um, I always turn to source, and Good. so the way that I—that um, is your guide. That's it your true is. guide. It is. It's my guide, mm -hmm. exactly. And I do that through uh, prayer. You know, we do our petitions through prayer, mm -hmm. and um, but when we meditate, that's when we are able to receive the messages mm -hmm. and the guidance. And mm -hmm. so Beautiful. we have to quiet our minds. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know. So we're going to look at the other images now. Okay. Okay, so we got uh, we got one of your uh, 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 <laughs> clients there. <Yeah. laughs> All right, so can you share what you're doing here? Okay, so um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm a Reiki uh, level two practitioner, mm -hmm. and so this is exactly how Reiki is um, is facilitated. Mm -hmm. So um, it's on a fully clothed uh, client. Um, the energy is not coming from me, it mm -hmm. is coming from source. Right. And then um, for a while I had the title that was given to me mm -hmm. by source as Catalyst of Enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And so on my older cards it's listed. Um, I, I removed it because a lot of people didn't understand, what is the catalyst? Well, <laughs> um, I, the energy is not coming from me. The energy right. is passing through me exactly. to then um, to bring it to to my clients, mm -hmm. and um, and so it's healing. So uh, the healing then, I'm just, with my hands, placing them either directly on the mm -hmm. body right. or um, or in the aura, mm -hmm. so just a few inches above. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's great for people who are sensitive to touch. Right. You know, so we're thinking of people who have uh, traumatic life experiences, mm -hmm. uh, burnt victims, you know, maybe cancer patients, people who mm -hmm. experience pain right. um, of any sort, or um, who simply just don't like people touching them, mm -hmm. you know. Right. So, uh, so it can be done. Mm -hmm. um, it starts with the head, and um, 
you know, and it works its way. I work my way down to the feet, mm -hmm. uh, different hand placements, mm -hmm. as you saw. We'll go through the other images, actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So here we have the ears mm -hmm. we're covering. So with the head, there's actually like four hand placements on, on the head, the eyes, the ears, the top of the head, and the back of the head. Then we work our way through the uh, seven chakras, mm -hmm. and they will include the uh, throat, the heart, that's the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Shoulders are also included. Uh, we carry a lot of weight and stress on our shoulders, mm -hmm. and so shoulders are important. A lot of, Not at uh, the most wonderful time. No. <laughs> It's not. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And um, and then that's uh, that should be right uh, at the solar plexus. Right. So it's just below uh, the the rib cage. Mm -hmm. um, then there's uh, two more s spots. The great thing with Reiki is, um, and when you do these, these are private sessions. Um, with when I do the Reiki private sessions, they're not. Um, you, you, they're not imposing on anyone's um, genital areas. Mm -hmm. So uh, this can be done on a man, a woman, or a child. Right. Um, also, the back is included as well mm -hmm. um, in certain sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, if someone's having back issues, then you would absolutely um, you know, focus on the back as well. Sure. Not always, mm -hmm. um, but uh, it takes about, you're placing the hands in those and those hand, um, you're holding them for about maybe two to three minutes mm -hmm. in position. Mm -hmm. um, and Reiki practitioner um, are not doctors, okay? So right. there are a lot of nurses that are trained in Reiki, mm -hmm. but um, as a practitioner, we can just suggest saying, yes, you know, we're picking up energy uh, in a particular area, mm -hmm. uh, have you been having issues? And right. if you are having issues, um, perhaps you need to see a mm -hmm. physician, you know, um, Good. And to further. Because I actually, I, I, I shared with you also, I'm a uh, master, Re master Reiki practitioner, mm -hmm. and someone was, um, I did, you know, some Reiki on them, and, and both of them, they followed what I said, and they went to their doctors, Important. and there was something going on there, because mm -hmm. I said I could, you know, it just, it guides, right? Yes. So um, they uh, went to the doctor and one person, she changed her medication, she felt much better. Good. And the other ones too was having, and she went to the doctor and everything was okay. Awesome. So it's just, yeah, it's like you said, we're not there to, to um, suggest as a, a medical uh, professional, but just to guide them exactly. to something, an area that there might be something going on. Concern, yeah. And that to go to get that checked out. So that's what it's there for. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And sometimes to relieve any um, um, uh, stuck energy like that. Exactly. Blocks, any pain, or, yes. right, exactly, pain. And, and that's how I got into Reiki myself, awesome. was that I was dealing with some pain for a long time. And in two sessions, it was done. It was gone, never came back. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah so that's sometimes you could mm -hmm. go from just, you know, just a couple of sessions right. to a few sessions. Some people need, you know, ongoing treatment, depending mm -hmm. um, if they're not also taking the advice that we're giving them and, you know, and practicing. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. So, um, Michelle, what would you tell the viewers um, in regards to if they felt like um, they wanted to do something like this? What would you say to them? Uh, to come to me for for treatment or for themselves. For them to start to start like how you started. You you had opposition, yes. But you still you continue to follow your oh. intuition and your absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that we always have to do approach our loved ones, mm -hmm. uh, whether friends or family, mm -hmm. um, from a place of love. I'm, I'm very big on Love's love. Love's important. Um, and uh, being the Reiki practitioner, they wor works with that high energy. Mm -hmm. But you know, you also have to love yourself, and that is important. <laughs> if we don't love ourselves, we can't love others. <laughs> That's what I tell people all yep. the time. You've got to love the self first. Exactly. Exactly. Otherwise, you cannot love anybody else. You're exactly. kidding yourself. Then you're kidding yourself. And also, this this, and I'm going to say it. It's like you know, people talk about God and religion, all these kinds of things, but if you're not loving yourself, you also cannot have that true love for God. No, you can't. So there's, that's another uh, thing that um, people fall short on. Yes. That it's like, oh, they call out to God and God this and God that. But what about you? 
you've got to feel good about yourself first before exactly. you start sending your love anywhere else. Exactly. So it's important, yes. Yeah. I like what you said. Exactly. Oh, thanks. Mm, I like what you said. So you'll say, just go ahead. I say, um, yes, if you're, you know, if, if in your heart you feel that this is what's mm. calling you and this is your purpose and this is your mission and this is what you're supposed to do, um, I think that, yes, you have to be true to yourself, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, you, your own happiness right. um, comes first, exactly. you know. And, uh, and if you don't, if you continue to deny yourself mm -hmm. and, um, and, and, and deny who you are, right. you know, how, you know, you're deserving, you're worthy, you exactly. know, of, of love and of acceptance and of mm -hmm. being true. Mm -hmm. And um, so why not, you know? So the, the world is such a better place now um, that it is so much acceptance. Exactly. Um, so why would you it's hold back time. now? It mm -hmm. is a great time. Yeah, so why hold this. back now? Right, right. And then each person knows their own part intuitively you know what it is like you kept searching and searching and searching even though the, the you know the door you kept look the, the <laughs> yeah. tarot cards found you again because <laughs> it, yes. it was there it's something that you need to do because you have a, a wonderful gift yes that you you receive from source and you share with others yeah. so that's important for a while i kept it hidden i um received many messages mm. throughout my life you know until recently you mm -hmm. know um and I kept it very private, uh, mm. away from my family. Right. Um, but I was labeled a lot, you know. Um, but it, but falsely, I was falsely mm. accused. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a that's recent that defamation. <laughs> Talking about that, it's gossip. Yes. And defamation is what it is. It, it really is. Mm -hmm. And so it was very heartbreaking. You know, I could stand here today and 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 speak openly about it, but mm. it was a. a, a a long journey and mm -hmm. it was not so easy and what was really upsetting was um, having family that doesn't support right. you or uh, your mission mm -hmm. or what you see as true right. you know and um, it, it is very upsetting mm -hmm. um, we're all cordial with each other right. um, but I it's very limited mm -hmm. very very limited um, I won't I won't argue mm -hmm. um, about my beliefs or my faith right. because Good. I don't I won't impose mm -hmm. them on anyone. Good. Um because I don't like anybody imposing theirs. No, on right, me. exactly. Neither do I, right. I'll share. Yes. But I want to be able to share just as you can you share. Exactly. Don't block me just because you don't like what you're hearing. Exactly. I'm going to share. You share, I share. It has but to be for mutual. A, for a long time I mm -hmm. also uh you know denied. Mm -hmm. I denied it. Anyway, my dear Michelle, I have to wrap up now. Okay. It's at the end of the show. It went very quickly. That did. And, and so I have to um, say a wonderful, um, just in case we don't have another show before the end of the year, I want to wish everybody uh, a wonderful holiday and um, a fantastic 2020. Fantastic things are going to happen <laughs> next year, and I'll fill you in, let you know everything that's going on. And so... To all of you, best wishes always and love, and I appreciate your support as I go into the fifth year of Give and Take. So anyway, ah, your level of consciousness is the gateway to the future. Thank you. Mm -hmm.